Hi everyone, uh, Mike Bettis with Tornado Track coming to you from Sydney, Nebraska. We've actually never been to Sydney before. I'm Mark Elliott with us at a nice little town here and great Very nice. views. Yeah, which is important for us. So <laughs> more, maybe more so than the Sonic and the subway and the uh, uh, yeah. visitor center. Hey, a good lie made. Uh, right, go it goes a long, a long way. way. Uh, okay, so you know, you, you take a look behind us here. We've been watching, you know, the landscape. You can see, you know, really uh, forever here. We were watching along I-80, a storm in Cheyenne that was 140 miles away and we could see it. So great line of sight here. And if anything pops up, we're going to see it. Right. So we're looking at the satellite views and the radar, but at this point, we, we have to be able to drive to it, right. and and if we can't see it, we don't have time to drive to it. Right. So, so we, we think we've actually put ourselves in a pretty good spot. I mean, we, from here we can go to Scotts Bluff, we can go to Cheyenne, we can go down into northeastern Colorado. All these places, something could happen. We're all right. really relying on upslope at this yeah, point. Yeah, slightly different type of chase today. Uh, instead of the uh, rotating supercells and a warm sector of a low that's coming across the country, this we need some help with the geography. Yeah, and so you get an easterly wind which is key in this instance. We've got a little low coming out of Wyoming. We get an easterly component into some, some elevated terrain that can cause some lift and that can help. Yeah, just like a cold front will lift up the air and create that rising motion that you need for storms. In this case, we're using the natural layout of the land and getting the mountains to help pick up the, the air. What's uh, usually nice about upslope storms in this part of the world is they're usually LP low precipitation, which means you can get this great structure, they're gorgeous, they don't really pose a whole lot of threat until they start to collapse and they produce some outflow. But other than that, boy, you just sit there all day long with your camera and take pictures and it's beautiful. Yeah, and if you're looking at that on the weather map, you'd see dew points in the 60 to even 70 range and then normal thunderstorms. In this case, we're chasing storms that are forming with dew points in the 40s and maybe 50s. Yeah. So, so much drier, less moisture for them to work with, which means less rain raining down on us it's and good. really good picture opportunities. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, by by the way, just coincidentally, we parked, we parked right by a tornado siren over there. So they're prepared here. Uh, anyway, we'll keep an eye on it and keep tuned. We'll, uh, we'll give you some updates. Uh, we'll talk to you later.